What's going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to Promise Neverland episode 4. Apparently this is going to be a really good episode from what I've been told. Uh, I, I Unfortunately, I usually upload this on time, but unfortunately I was at work all day and by the time I got home I was exhausted and I needed to eat a little bit because I haven't had anything since, you know... Like 3 in the morning, so <laughs> I was pretty damn hungry. Uh, it's 1 o'clock right now, so I'm ready to go jump into this. I'm a little bit late, I do apologize, but I will be uploading this on top of Gotoba no Hana Yome later on today. Uh, so look forward to that. I'm ready to jump into this, so guys, without any further ado, let's jump in to the fourth episode of The Promise Everland Sun in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Alright. Alright, so starting off with the intro again. Alright, I do apologize last time that this screen right here was a little bit too hard to uh, um, see through. And I do apologize, but it is what it is. I tried to find a nice wallpaper that had a black finish for Promise Everland. I couldn't find any. Um, like, I know a lot of ones that I've, I, I thoroughly like are ones with like a silhouette of a person and then a pure back, black or pure color background. It's usually the easiest way to... Uh, put a cover but yeah hopefully you guys will still be able to see if not i do apologize but um yeah they're really hard against the series for uh spoilers to hell you can't even show the manga like pages of the manga without it getting hit so i made it a little bit lower hopefully you guys can see it but my main my main hope is that we don't um get any subtitles on top but i think that's what happened last week we'll see what happens Na, 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 na. Probably my favorite. Mm, it's hard to say. Like, and uh, uh, it's so hard to tell. There's so many good openings this season. So many good, so many good ones. All right. Hopefully, my uh, volume settings are good. Can make it a little bit louder. So it's October 29th. What's wrong with Tomboys? By the way, tomboys are hot. Not saying Crone is, but just in general, tomboys are hot. She's putting down the authority, like, I'm the boss. You listen to me. Let me see those fakes. Damn, she, she's terrifying. She's really terrifying. Even now, she... Yep, you just got... You just kind of got, like, told. Told off. You're like, <laughs> I'm, I'm the boss. I'm the captain. I am the captain here. Alright, what you gonna say, Crone? Are you gonna throw it? Damn! The power of Christ compels you, woman! <laughs> Jesus! Cámete, por favor! Bitch is crazy. 
Bitch is crazy. Bitches be crazy. I mean... Gilda's the girl one with the glasses, right? A hundred. Interesting. Gone is, I don't remember Gone was the uh, kid with the short hair, him, him. Split in two, I'm guessing. I have a feeling I'm going to be like really entranced in this episode because I want to pay attention. Not too much talking. I'll talk when I, when I deem. Split in two, decided which one to go for. Score on the test or or te okay. Hopefully you guys can read that, sorry. Put it down. Ten days, though. Damn. Ray had a very... Ray's really defensive. He was very, ooh, he's like. He's thoroughly like, he's visibly like frustrated at this or upset in, at the situation. You playing tricks on me? You probably you playing tricks on me, Promise Neverland? You trying to trying to make me doubt Ray? Possibly, I don't know. Anyone could be the traitor. The only one I couldn't see be a traitor would honestly be Emma. Oh, this is just freaky. Are you gonna have something pop out? Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Uh uh. I will, I will flip the table. Not really, because there's a lot of shit on there.
Interesting. I couldn't really tell if there was more than two sets of foot footprints or footsteps. I mean, I could see why they would be, like, very, you know, hesitant on believing this. She's part of it, too. She's the one selling it. I still think she's, like, a middle, the middleman in that way. She wouldn't say that if she was, yeah. She saw them? Oh no, maybe she knew. Hmm. Mm. They would have apologized for sneaking out. Nah. Why is Ray not with them? I don't think you can help Connie anymore. I think she's dead. Sorry. Mm, okay. False hope will... Tell them the truth after they're safe. Interesting. Do apologize for not talking like I said. This is just this just feels like I need to pay attention. 
Huh, Gilda? What are you doing? What's with that fucking face? Yo, what's with that face? It was almost a look of disgust. Emma's not asleep, is she? Emma's not asleep, is she? Oh, shit. Is it Gilda? No, maybe she's just doing something else. Maybe the, the show's trying to portray it as it's Gilda. Who knows? But we'll see. Oh, fuck. Nah, don't you do a pop-up. Nah, no pop-ups. I'm good. Don't do it. Nah. So that's the real traitor, and it's making it seem like it's Gilda. Is her face going to be contorted? This is a bad idea. It's not going to be her. Okay, so... Good job, Gilda. So she was also an informant, but she's not the real traitor. The one who slipped it in. Alright, so Gilda's off the table. Now the only suspicious one was honestly... She's tricking you. Oh my god, yo! Oh no! Oh no! I don't know what you're talking about. I know Crone's like bullshitting just to, just to get an answer out by lying. Because she did the same thing with Emma during the game of tag. So honestly, all that's left is Ray because Ray showed some very suspicious behavior. It was during that when he said, "It was during that whole like, oh yeah, it's gonna start in ten days," and you saw Ray like almost like snap, like what? <sighs> Okay, so honestly, I, I don't see Gon be... I, I can't see him be the traitor. And Ray, I don't know. Like I said. We'll see what happens. Hell, it could be totally someone else. It's a good, it's a good, it would be a good way to hold it over someone. Oh 
What was she doing? She was counting footsteps. She was counting feet. True. Very true. Good girl, Emma. I might just be overthinking, but shouldn't they have this kind of a conversation with everyone? It's gone. I don't think it's done. Was I right? Oh, what the fuck? That's where you're gonna end. Fuck you, Promise Neverland. Mm, fuck you, Promise Neverland. That's all I gotta say. Just. <sighs> Alright, so. I was right in thinking that it could have been Ray because that, that look at, that he gave him during the. Uh, during the 10. During the whole, like, we only have 10 days to do it. it. was too suspicious, in my opinion. So. And then, like, they were having this conversation away from. And he was also very nonchalant. He was like, oh, so it's done. Are we going to get an ending? No, we're not going to get any ending. Especially not after that cliffhanger. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. That's all I got to say, guys. Just damn. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, like, they, they hinted it out throughout this episode. You can see something sprinkled in here. Gilda was honestly the number one suspect during, I believe, the third, yeah, the third episode is when she started looking. And I think that was just Crone saying, hey, you need to figure out some information. So she was an informant, but she never caved and actually became that informant. She was like, an informant, if you were able, like, she was sent out to search for stuff, and if she found stuff, she would become an informant, but she didn't cave, so she, therefore she didn't become an informant, if you know what I'm talking about. But honestly, after everything was done, I couldn't see Dawn as the traitor, because there was nothing that would point to it, and it was honestly between Gilda and Ray. Ray joined last in the party, and they were even saying, it was like, when things go tough, he's one to just give up. And that's a trait that would happen. Because honestly, remember, he's honestly like, no, this isn't going to work. We had to only bring a couple of people. This isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. And now that Emma has her mind set and Norman's along, going along with Emma, Norman, I mean, um, Ray could see that as, oh, shoot, that means we're going to fail anyway. So I'm just going to back out and become a traitor. That's what it could happen. And then 
I was thinking a lot of this stuff while this episode was going on. I wasn't saying anything because in case I was wrong, but then the end kind of pointed out there is a chance that it couldn't be him and he's just overthinking it. Who knows? But honestly, out of everyone, now that Gilda's off the hook, Ray definitely does show stand out as the possible traitor. Anyways, I'm gonna go wrap this up. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the rec rub the episode. Um, hopefully, you guys are able to see most of the video. Um, for the most part, in this transparent thing. <laughs> but yeah, if not, I do apologize. Had to do it for copyright issues. Uh, so it is what it is. But anyways, I will see you guys soon for Go to Hana Yoma if you guys are interested. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until then. See ya.